Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a Beatrice Dell inspired makeup tutorial. And when I say inspired, I do mean inspired. This is not going to be a transformation. I think the one of the key features to Beatrice Dell's look is that she's got such a unique, beautiful look. Um, that you know, I just I just don't look like her. And doing this makeup on me, I will not look like Beatrice Dell at the end of this. But um, I'm such a fan of hers and um, I don't think, if I'm, as far as I'm aware, there hasn't been many, or if any, tutorials done on, done on here, on, on Beatrice Dell. And um, she's such a controversial icon and I love her, so I decided to do a makeup tutorial based on Beatrice Dell. Um, yeah, so I really hope you enjoy. Okay, I'm going to kick off with um, Skin Base Foundation by Ila Masca. So just to give you a quick lowdown if you don't know who Beatrice Dell is, um, she's basically a French actress. Um, she's been in um, she was in a film called Inside, um, a French film, with Alison Parody, who is the sister of Vanessa Parody. And she was in a film called um, Betty Blue. And both films I absolutely loved. Um, I loved Inside. If you're a fan of um, horror and films that aren't too, you know, that don't drag on, because it's a very, very, very short film um, in today's standards. I mean, most films are like three hours now, but it's a very quick, um, brutal, violent film. So if you're into that kind of, um, you know, sort of Tarantino kind of films, you know, sort of the violent films, um, check it out because she plays the um, sort of villain in that. And she was in a film called Betty Blue. Her first film, I believe. She was quite young in that film. And that's a good film too. It's the only films I've seen with her in. But I do need to watch a few more. But I just love her look. I think she's... Okay, onto the brows. Patrice has quite dark brows. Um, so I'm just going to take... I think I'm just going to use a black eyeshadow from my Storm Sleek Storm palette. And... Uh, I'm not going to do too heavy with this because you know, using black you don't want to go too heavy. Just going to brush it through my brow hairs just to darken them a little further. I think my brows are fairly dark and because my hair is, um, my hair colour is black or almost black, I think I can get away with dark brows. Also, just at the tail of my brow. I'm just going to extend it just slightly. Not too much because with the eye makeup I'm going to bring my eyes out a little bit. So just to help with my face shape I'm going to bring my brows out a tiny bit. Not too much. You don't want to make the brows look like they've been drawn in. You don't want to make them look Quite okay, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of an eye primer. This is just from Bourjois, just to give a, my shadow a bit more staying power. Then on my finger. Now you might be thinking, seeing the name Beatrice Dell, you might be thinking, oh, is she related to Brody Dell from the Distillers? There is a connection. Um, Brody Dell actually took her was named after, I mean, took the sta her stage name, um, Dal, after Beatrice Dell. And uh, also the same with uh, Nina Simone. She, um, she took her stage name, uh, Simone, um, after Simone Signore, who is another French actress who I love. I love Simone Signore. She's, um, she's like one of my top, my top five actresses. I love her. Might do a makeup tutorial on her one day, I don't know. But she's, I love her too. First French actress to win an Oscar, I think. I think there's some, there is something, there's like a first famous something with someone in your I can't remember what it is. But she won an Oscar for Room at the Top. And it was the first French actress to win a lead actress Oscar, I think. 
I'm not entirely sure, but it was definitely famous. But yeah, she's awesome. I love Simone Signore. Um, okay, take Mac Brulee and take it all over the lid. Mac Vanilla, which is slightly lighter. Go and take it. Just from where I need some highlight. And I'm going to take some satin uh, tape, this one here. And to begin with, using a Louise Young um, crease pencil brush, I'm going to take this in. and around into the crease. Get it roughly in there and then with a soft MAC 217 now blend that and then blend it into that outer V here. Okay, I have uh, this eyeshadow by Shira Urimura. Um It's a, it's a brown, um, medium brown. And we're going to take a line just right by the crease, just there. And then work it in. And then, and then add a little bit more. So just keep building up and then blending. At the end of it you should be able to see a definitive line going across. But not like a really heavy, you know, drawn in line. It should be nice and smooth. And then what we're going to do now is with, um, with the brown on the sort of middle to outer part of the lid, we're going to take a line and across and then a little tip, a q-tip I'm going to smoke this line up and out ok now for the eyeliner now Patrice often would bring her um, eyeliner um, fairly similar to the way that Sophia Loren would wear her eyeliner um, I think because one of the key features of Beatrice Dow's look is her mouth. She has an absolutely ama amazing mouth. Uh, so she'd often bring her eye makeup outwards to compensate for her um, for her mouth. Um, but she had naturally quite wide, big eyes anyway. So she didn't need to do it that much anyway. But what she would do is... Uh, uh, black liner by Clinique. We'll start by in the inner corner here and bring this line across my lid by the lash line. I'm going to stop there just for the time being. And where I've done that brown shadow, it's meant upwards, it should create like a little shadow. And what I'm going to do is Come out a little triangle, start up like that, and then come across like that and fill it in. And then come down. Now I was contemplating whether to leave my liner just out here, but I have decided to take it all the way all the way around because I think Beatrice most commonly did that um, uh, I don't know if it really suits me going right around my eyes um, but anyway, I uh, just got a little q-tip, a little bit of makeup remover on it and just 
here, I'm just gonna take it and just loosen it up just there and then use dry end just to wipe away any bits I don't need. Right, that's all done. Black um, eyeshadow, um, sugar pills bulletproof. Take it. Then, using a pencil brush, I will use young to work it in. Curling lashes. Adding bourgeois quality up. Mascara. I put a black um, eyeliner. My waterline. Going to take a little bit of a sweet contour. Actually, I think adding that black line has made my eyes look a little bit close together, so I'm just adding a bit of extra highlight into the inner corner of my eye there. Okay, now for the key feature, the lips. Now, I said this was going to be inspired, not um, like a transformation of Beatrice Dell. Um, basically, if I, if I draw on... Beatrice Dell's lips onto me, it will it will not suit me at all. But I'm gonna make I'm gonna make my lips look a little bit bigger. Yeah, just a bit of fun. Not quite as big as hers. I've got stone lip pencil, which is a very mute um lip colour. And just go around just on the outside of my natural lip shape. Got MAC Love Lawn Lipstick. Gotta take this on. And then just to finish off with a little beauty spot that Beatrice has just here. Actually, I'm just going to actually just decide, I think I've gone a little bit too heavy for me underneath my eye. I mean, to be totally honest with you, I don't like this makeup on me. I mean, obviously Patrice Dahl can pull it off because she's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> now, I know the makeup does not suit me. I mean, I think just this style of makeup, it just doesn't suit me. Um, I think this is more sort of suited for people who have big eyes and um, big lips, which I don't. Um, I mean, the black liner around the eyes and lifting that will help to bring big eyes and make them look a little bit more narrower. And my eyes are quite narrow anyway, so I just made them look even more narrower. Um, and obviously, I do not. As you can probably tell I do not suit big lips. Um, no. Because um, yeah, I think my, my lips are quite skewy. I've got this weird sort of bump like here. So um, I think overdrawing them makes them look even more skewy. Um, but I hope, I hope this has been enjoyable either way. And um, if you have um, like big lips or big eyes, this might suit you, this makeup, more than it does me. Um, but yeah, this has been um, Beatrice Dad inspired tutorial. Um, the main reason why I did it is because I absolutely love Beatrice Dad, and obviously she suits this makeup. Um, but yeah, um, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all soon.